So we're here at DTW23 in Copenhagen, Denmark. We are excited about the news, about the announcements that Ericsson did today. So we have a lot to talk about. And we're here with Mats Carson. Mats, so great to see you mm -hmm. again. Thank you. Yeah, I'll tell, tell us about your impressions about DWT. Uh, I mean, it's probably bigger than it was last year. I think, as usual, I think there is a lot of <coughs> I would say decision makers uh, mm -hmm. available, and mm -hmm. uh, I think as usual, you. I mean, my view is that you often get a lot of quality time meeting uh, customers here. Maybe not as hectic as the Mobile World Congress, so in some way, I, I quite enjoy the format that we have here. Yeah, I mean, it's like uh, smaller but still powerful. Right? Yes, absolutely. And we talk a lot about 5G network. Uh, but also, we are excited about what Ericsson announced, announced today. Can you talk about it? Yeah, today we announced uh, our uh, troubleshooting capabilities in Expert Analytics. Yes. Uh, Expert Analytics is, is really the tool for doing customer-centric uh, analytics of how well the, their specific service is working for, for um, uh, a specific uh, subscriber, for instance. But mm -hmm. I think what we launched today is, is uh, the capability to kind of troubleshoot, uh, but also to do animal de de detection, etc. of a fiber core network. A fiber core network is quite complex. It constitutes of many parts. And with the uh, expert analytics, we are combining that also with, with uh, inbuilt uh, software probe capabilities, for instance, in our fiber core. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, today we had uh, the launch of that capability for the full market. Yes. Uh, I think it will. I think it will simplify and revolutionize the way you can troubleshoot uh, fiber core networks. Not having all these physical big probes out in the network, but having them built in to the software. Mm -hmm. And of course, that makes it very much faster to actually troubleshoot, but also to getting out. Uh, insights of the subscribers mm -hmm. and the services in a 5G core network. And, and I think a 5G network is really about, uh, I would say, more advanced uh, connectivity services, SLA-based services. And obviously, you actually need to understand, are I delivering to the SLAs? Is the network working according to what I've sold to a specific subscriber? If it's QS or latency, whatever. So I think it's a, it's a very good capability that we just launched today. Now, something that I uh, will ask you about, if you can elaborate a little bit more about how artificial intelligence on machine learning is used. Uh, I, I think we are using it across, obviously, expert analytics, as I just described, that have a lot of uh, AI capabilities built in, uh, actually, in the product. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the use cases, to use AI to actually create insights and, and uh, I mean, learn more and also maybe predict uh, where the network is going. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is one of the use cases. The other one is also that we are, for instance, using uh, a lot of AI functionality when we're operating a network. Mm -hmm. That could be, for instance, to making sure that how can we optimize performance of a network. I think one of the examples uh, I think that we had was that um, we did together with Uredu uh, in uh, the World Cup in football where mm -hmm. we were optimizing uh, the performance of the network uh, mm -hmm. and making sure that uh, so say it would actually cater for all the huge, enormous capacity needs that arise during the World Cup of football. So very much optimization, operations, but also built into our products. This, I mean, those are great improvements, uh, which are specific improvements and benefits that uh, can the um, communication service providers can get from using Ericsson Expert Analytics in their networks. Uh, yes, uh, today, as I said, uh, what we are really seeing today, because if you, for instance, start having network slices, you can look on how well it's a slice performant, but you also need to understand if you have specific subscribers, what type of uh, service do they get as a specific subscriber? So the customer centricity of expert analytics mm -hmm. is quite unique because you can connect all events to a specific subscriber and you can check it out, so say in the expert analytics. It's quite unique in that sense that you have the customer centricity mm -hmm. as, as the main, I would say, difference compared to maybe other analytics tools. Yeah, and, and that, that's amazing because also with generative AI, with all the, the massification of the sale of AI now, uh, we are using that to embed it in our in product and services. And 
say, I mean, we see that also with uh, uh, networks and in the telecom uh, industry, it's impacting a lot. No, no, and I, as I said, I usually see that you have, as I said, operations, you have it built into the product, but obviously also, you are of course using AI in the way we are developing the products. How can we right. develop them quicker? Right. How can we be more, I would say, uh, having better quality, quicker development, better documentation? So I think AI is kind of both in the product, it's in the way we are delivering and um, developing the products, mm -hmm. but it's also as both in the way we are operating the networks in the, in the field. Sounds great. And thank you so much, uh, Mark, for your time. You, we know that you're very busy and your schedule is tight, but uh, we appreciate a lot your time and yeah. your comments. Thank you. Thank you.